Hey Aquarius, welcome to your love and romance reading for October 2021. Now, I'm saying October 2021, but um, I feel like the energy that we're experiencing right now is going to be around the next three to six months. I'm not an astrologer, so I'm not even going to attempt to explain what's happening with uh, the, uh, the the planetary returns, the retrograde that we've been dealing with, the full moon we're coming into. I'm not going to do it justice, okay? I'm not. I read intuitively. I'm an intuitive, um, and I don't want to spread false information. If you are uh, someone who knows a lot about astrology, please feel free to educate us in the comments. We're all here to learn. Uh, but just intuitively, energetically, I feel like this energy is going to be around for the next three months, up to six months for some of you. So even though I'm saying October, uh, you might stumble upon this video after October and you might be like, holy moly, that's what's happening right now. Because I feel like this energy is going to be around for a while. Or these are going to be like uh, reoccurring themes that some of you are going to be dealing with. So let's see what's happening here. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For love and romance, October 2021. First card coming up, my darlings, is the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Uh, now, Nine of Pentacles can indicate here... Uh, like a, like, like a self-employment or a financial independence. And so some of you might be pursuing that and in the process you're finding love or if you're already in a relationship as you're pursuing your goals and your financial independence, you might be feeling more comfortable in the relationship or it might be taking pressure or stress off of you guys and allowing you guys to, you know, like focus on the relationship itself and not be worried about finances. However, you know, because we see pentacles, we think money because it's energy here. But in a love situation, uh, nine of pentacles can also be that somebody right now, Aquarius, has noticed you and you may feel them noticing you, but you're like, why in the heck aren't they stepping up to me? Like, like I am, am I imagining it? I try to go, I try to talk to them. I try to just, you know, not like in a thirsty way, but I let them know I'm interested. And like, what's going on? So when I see nine of pentacles, this person is really taken by you, Aquarius. Like they just see you as the complete package. They, they have you up on a pedestal. They see you as really high caliber. And to me, the nine of pentacles in a love reading can be very much like the song by Blake Shelton, who are you when I'm not looking, right? They just feel like you're too good to be true. And they may be taking a step back, not to test you in like a manipulative, sneaky way, but they're like, is this person for real? Is Aquarius for real? Is Aquarius just really trying to impress me and they're putting their best foot forward? Or is this really like, like, is this possible? Is it possible that someone like Aquarius exists? And so they might be a little bit skeptical, right? They're wanting it to be true. And so they're taking a step back and they're like watching you, how you're interacting with people. If they're not giving you attention, are you quick to run off and try to like flirt with other people? Or, I mean, and don't get me wrong. There's a difference between talking to people and getting to know people. And there's a difference between like, you know, really like, you know, jumping onto somebody's lap. And so I think they're just trying to like see how you behave when you think they're not noticing you. They want to get to know the real you because I feel this is a successful person and I feel like this person has gotten taken advantage of a lot. Like people have really come in and like wowed and dazzled them because they're looking for a meal ticket or they're looking for clout or whatever it might be. And so this person has ended up in relationships and then they're like, holy moly right? This person had me fooled. They're nothing like how they were in the beginning. They're selfish. They're rude. They don't have any manners. They're toxic, right? But from the beginning, they seemed so perfect. And so this person is a little bit like, is this happening to me again? Like they're like rubbing their eyes and they're looking at you like, is this for real? Is this for real? Or am I getting played again? And so this person is being cautious. I do feel that they will step up to you. But it may not be, um, for some of you, the soonest, I would say the next two to three weeks or like early November. 
For others of you, it may not be for another two or three months. Okay, they might have things, loose ends and things they're trying to tie up. There might be an issue of timing here, but they have their eye on you and they're very impressed with you. All right, so the next card here, Aquarius, is the Seven of Wands. So especially Aquarius, like if you're feeling this, if you're like in this vibe where you're like, what in the heck is going on here? Like, I'm trying to let them know I'm interested. I want to move things along here. I want to take the next step. And you might be thinking of ways to, you know, make this person feel safe or make this person feel like they can trust you or that, no, I really am interested in them. Maybe they're shy. Maybe they're timid. Seven of Wands is like, look, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You're doing everything good. You're on the right path. There's no need for extra right now. There's no need to mix things up. There's no need to change things up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Some of you, I feel like for a very, those of you who are in a committed relationship already and you're with this person and you know they're not going anywhere and you're not going anywhere. Some of you have had a cycle or situation where um, your, your partner's family is coming in with a lot of negativity and a lot of criticism. You know, maybe you have like a mother-in-law that's like always on your case and nitpicking everything and like, you know, saying that you're a bad parent or like you're not trustworthy and, you know, you're not good enough for their baby, you know, whatever it might be. But the seven of wands is, I feel like spirit is saying, stand back, stand back. And I feel something is happening that these people are falling away. Some of you will see and you will realize that your partner might say, you know what? Like, I've tried talking to them. I've tried standing up for you. I've tried defending you. I've told them all these things that like you do really well. And all these things that you've done for the relationship, for me, for the family. But they still want to be negative. So some of you might find that your partner is finally in a space where they're like, we need to spend less time with my friends and family. We need to deal with them a lot less because they're bringing a lot of toxic energy and I'm tired of it. I don't want it. I just want peace, right? Uh, they're not respecting me and my decision. They're not respecting you. You know, I, I don't want it. And so some of you might find that finally you feel like you're getting a break or you're getting peace and that your partner is on the same page as you as you know, we're not going to fight. We're not going to argue. We're not going to try to convince them, but we're just going to step back for a little bit. We're going to step back and they're going to learn that if they want to be around, if they want to be around me, if they want to be around the grandbabies or whatever, they're going to have to behave. And so a lot of you are taking a stance and setting a boundary as a couple without getting into the drama, without trying to convince, without arguing. It's just like, here's the line. I'm not coming down to your level. So either you come up to the higher ground and you come at me correctly, or you can just stay down there. I'm not falling into the mud. I'm not fighting. I'm, I'm not arguing. I'm not debating. So some of you might feel finally, you know, like, like finally some peace here finally some peace here because maybe you feel like I really am happy with my partner but the people outside of the relationship have been making it hell right and so finally I feel like those of you in that situation you're getting some relief okay seven of wands as I said stand your ground you're doing a good job um some of you are in a situation in a work situation where you're getting a lot of attention from somebody. I feel it might be a supervisor that's not like directly above you. So maybe technically, like technically it wouldn't be against policy or against the rules for you guys to get together or for you guys to date. But I do feel like people are noticing and they're talking really negatively about you. And again, spirit is saying, don't feel like you have to address rumors don't feel like you have to set the record straight. You just keep doing you. You just keep doing what you've been doing. And don't worry about having to explain yourself or say, no, I'm not involved with anybody. I'm not getting special treatment. Uh, you know, we don't spend time outside of work, you know, and some of you are feeling like you want to defend yourself. Spirit is saying, just leave it alone. 
just leave it alone okay you just stand your ground and keep doing what you've been doing your next card here is the page of wands now the page of wands can be a younger fire sign energy or just a playful like like a playful fire sign energy or a very ambitious playful person uh the page of wands can be your energy or you may be dealing with someone who's in the page of wands energy so when you're in the page of wands energy like you're getting your feistiness and you may be kind of like re inventing yourself i sometimes refer to the page of wands as a second adolescence you're going back to those teenage vibes you know like you're finding yourself and your self-expression and how you're choosing to dress and do your hair or uh like how you're choosing to do like makeup or not doing makeup or like just how you're presenting yourself and how you're putting yourself out there um, also like your ambitions, the things that you're into, the things that you find interesting, that you want to be involved in, uh, pursuing dreams, pursuing passions, right? There's, there's the emo teenager and then, uh, period, right? We all go through the emo phase. And then there's like this ambitious, like I'm going to go out there and conquer the world, uh, teenager energy right and sometimes we we go up and down as teens between between those two extremes but page of wands for me is like a second adolescence like you're getting your feistiness back some of you are finding and you're like you know what i have some independence i feel really good about me and maybe this person is watching me and they are noticing me but i'm not gonna wait forever like, if people want to step up to me and talk to me, if they want to take me out on dates, I'm going to go for it, right? I'm going to do it in a classy way because I'm the Nine of Pentacles, right? I'm doing it in a classy way. But hey, you know, <laughs> let's see who's bringing what to the table. What do you have to offer me? How are you going to beat out the competition? That's the energy some of you are coming into here, right? You're allowing yourself to explore. You're allowing yourself to express yourself and to be social and to meet people and to feel that feisty energy, to feel that root chakra energy. Uh, and so some of you are getting a little bit, you know, <laughs> a little bit randy, shall we say, or, uh, you know, you're, you're, you're feeling that, that physical desire and you're like, I'm just going to. I'm going to go and see who I like and see who, who comes up along the way and what I want to experience, okay? Some of you are dealing with a partner also um, who sees you, right? Like they're seeing you as you're really classy, you're really respect, respectful, how you carry yourself, but they're like, I know there's an inner freak in there. I know there's an inner, I know, I know Aquarius has that inner freak. And so like, they're looking at you like they just want to, mm, they just want to bring that to the surface. Uh, so don't be surprised. <laughs> Aquarius. Don't be surprised if you have someone that you're like, whoa, they flipped the switch on me. Like they may have been coming to you that really old school, like courtship kind of way, right? like uh like like really really like respectful but then all of a sudden when it comes time to getting down to business they want to get down to business right so they might be like wanting to be more adventurous they might be wanting to uh just be in that you know uh <laughs> um that uh let me show you some new things energy some of you might be dealing with that kind of energy or maybe or maybe you're seeing somebody and you're wanting to teach them a thing or two but i kind of feel that dynamic here for some of you now um the next card here ooh see devil mm 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 mm, -mm. So this is a major arcana card. When the major arcana cards come up, we're coming into a new chapter in our life. And this is a significant experience. This is a significant soulmate. We agreed to meet in this lifetime for specific reasons. And the devil card, okay? Now it's up to the reader to determine the way the cards are coming up because the cards have layers and they can come together and they can tell different stories. So the reader's job is to read the energy and see the cards that are coming up with it to figure out, do I feel like it's this energy or do I feel like it's that energy? Which, which message is it? 
I don't feel the devil in a negative way. And for you guys, as it's coming up here. And when I say negative, I would say somebody who's like, you know, controlling and uh, maybe somebody who has like addictions that are out of control or, you know, somebody who is very possessive or toxic. I don't get that vibe. Keep in mind, first and foremost, this could simply be Capricorn energy. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn or if you have a Capricorn placement, uh, there might be changes and shifts happening in that area of your life that are aligning you with meeting your significant soulmate, your significant partner here. Uh, but the devil card is supposed to be a representation of earthly energy, right? Like they say the earth is the devil's domain, okay? So this is going to be all things having to do with earthly energy. Physical pleasures, lust, passion, okay? Uh, money. Uh, sometimes, for me, when the cards come up in this way, spirit is telling me that you might be on a spiritual journey and this person is coming in and they might have more earth energy. They might be more physically inclined. This is someone who might be more into physical things. But that balance can work. Because sometimes this person is coming to keep you grounded. To bring you back into your body. Right? Especially Aquarius, you guys are an air sign. So air signs, you're going to be in the element of thought. You're going to be into, like when you're into your spiritual work, you're going to be into meditation. You're going to be into like receiving messages from the spiritual realm. And you're going to be in your head a lot, right? That's one of the ways that you experience spirit. You experience spirit in, in the intellectual or mental realm. This person's coming in to yank you back into your body. And you can do both Aquarius. You don't have to give up one for the other. We don't want to go to the extreme to where we're not in our body at all. We're not grounded. So I feel this person's bringing you back into your body and reminding you that you are a spiritual being who came to have life on this planet to have a physical experience. It's great that you're awakening and you're realizing you're a spiritual being and you have that connection, but you need to be in your body. And I feel this person is helping you to do that. And this person is doing it by giving you physical pleasures. This is someone who's going to want to wine and dine you. This is someone who's going to bond with you or express love to you in very physical ways. Through physical intimacy, through uh, money. Also, this is somebody who I feel you have a lot of passion with. Okay? Like, like, like this is the kind of energy that you're going to be... Uh, you're going to be, you know, uh, entwined a lot uh, all over the place, every room of the house, right? Or every part of the apartment. Um, and so this is, this is going to be uh, very physical. This person is very physical, okay? Very, very physical. And you might need that right now. Some of you might need that right now, like as a sense of like grounding to like, hey, you know, Earth to Aquarius, welcome back, come join us. Um, they're giving you uh, something to stay for, <laughs> right? So you're not drifting off in your mind. Um, they're giving you some experiences where you're like, oh, <laughs> I don't mind being here in my body. So that's the vibe I'm feeling here with the devil. Just a very, very physical energy. This is probably somebody who might even be like um, borderline agnostic or... Uh, you know, they, they don't really think about things like spirituality or metaphysics or God or higher power. They're just like, you know what, when I die, I'm going to be warm food and that's cool. That's fine. You can believe whatever you want to believe. That's cool. But I'm living for now. I'm living for today. But I'm trying to have the best life possible while I'm here on this earth because I don't know there's anything after this. I feel that this is the kind of attitude this person has. You know, and you might help each other balance each other out. Uh, but I don't feel this is a spiritual person. Okay. Now, the next card coming up is the Page of Swords. And this is gathering information. This is gathering knowledge. 
okay so this could be here with the page of swords you guys are learning from each other this person's teaching you about embracing the physical energy this person's teaching you about earth energy and being in the earth energy and you might rub off on them a little bit and you might teach them some about spirituality okay so there could be a happy balance page of swords though for me also um, comes in with the element sometimes some of you have heard me say this page of swords sometimes can mean for me that there's a need for you to speak up because sometimes the page of swords comes up for me in my readings in the sense of a clearing in the throat chakra okay for whatever reason my guides will give me the page of swords to say that there's some clearing happening in your throat chakra and you're going to have some experiences where spirit is kind of putting you in a situation where you're having to speak up. Now, with the devil energy, some of you are dealing with someone that there can be a lot of passion, a lot of like, a lot of intense physical energy. And I don't feel this is uh, someone who's going to try to push you to do things you don't want to do. I don't feel like this is a person who's like going to come in and try to push your boundaries in the bedroom and make you do things that are painful or that you're not comfortable with doing or gross. I don't get that vibe from that person. But I do feel that they might be very persuasive and they start kissing up on you. They start feeling up on you. And like, you're just, I just, I can't tell this person. No, like not in terms of physical intimacy, but like whatever they want. Oh, baby, whatever you want right? Whatever you want. You just keep, you just keep making me feel that way and, and we'll do things your way, whatever you want. And so I feel like with the page of swords, it's like you're being encouraged to speak up, right? Enjoy that passion. I also feel like this person is not going to get mad at you. This person is not going to be like, you know, um, you know, how dare you say that? Or no, we have to do things my way. I don't get that vibe from this person. I just think they're very charismatic. They're very smooth. They're very charming. And they're just used to, you know, people going along with what they say. And they might actually kind of like it when you stand up. And when you're like, I don't want to do that. I want to do something else, right? I want to do something else tonight. Or I want to focus on a different goal. Or I want to talk about something else. Or I want to, you know, uh, eat from a different restaurant. Or whatever it might be. They'll see that and they'll be like, ooh, I like that. Right? I like that. I like that Aquarius is speaking up. I like that Aquarius isn't just always like, yes, baby, yes, baby, yes, baby. So um, I feel there's a dynamic here in that way too. It's so interesting, Aquarius, because spirit is showing me, and it's the time of the year for it, as we're in October, it's definitely the time of the year for it. Spirit is showing me Hades and Persephone, right? Persephone was this sweet, um, un, uh, un, uh, unblemished, uncorrupted, uh, sweet, uh, you know, light being, this little uh, earth creature, like this little earth fairy, this little earth angel that was just kind of prancing around, la, 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 flowers and trees and sunlight and happy things, right? And Hades, the lord of darkness, the lord of the underworld, he just saw her and he fell in love and he was just like, oh my God, like I, I have to be with her. I have to be with her. And he maybe went through questionable means to get her. But when it came down to like the rules and stuff, he followed the rules. He had to give her back. He was a little bit slick. He had a way to like, you know, keep the door open to like stay connected to her. And eventually, right, uh, Persephone became both. Persephone could walk in the light and then go to the underworld. So part of the world, she was in that lighter energy. Part of the world, she part of the year, I mean, part of the year she was in that light energy, part of the year she was uh, the queen of the underworld. And as time went by, they had a very powerful relationship. And even though he was like this, you know, dark, you know, uh, you know, lord, lord of the underworld, he was good to her. He treated her well, you know, um, he loved her. And it was that, 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 that attraction that, that they were so polar opposite. 
but there was that attraction. And so that's like the vibe I'm feeling here with this person. I don't want to say angel meets devil because that sounds very uh, like uh, painful and crazy and karmic and, uh, you know, roller coastery. And I don't get that vibe from this person. I'm not going to say angel and devil. This is like Persephone meets Hades. Like that's what I feel here in this energy. Uh, you may want to check out your moon sign and rising sign videos, your Venus sign if this isn't your Venus sign. Uh, don't forget to check out the weekly forecasts. Uh, I know I've been away for a while, but for those of you who don't know, every single week, and it's going to start up again, every week I post a reading for each of the signs where I talk about everything other than love, right? Everything other than love. So make sure you watch the weekly forecasts as well. Thank you so much for your patience. In my absence, a lot of you have sent messages. I'm trying to respond to all of them. Thank you for being patient with me. A lot of you have been asking um, about uh, sending donations or tips. Thank you. You can do that by PayPaling. Uh, to my email address. Just go to PayPal and put in my email address, amethystangellight at gmail.com. You can PayPal uh, donations and tips to that email address. Uh, those of you who would like a private reading, you can schedule a private reading with me at calendly.com slash amethystangellight. Thank you for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. Be well, my dears.